Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark Spencer. With me is Steve Martin from Ripple Training. And we're talking about the 10.0.3 update and a sort of a continuing discussion about a lot of really cool new features. Amazing features. Well, yep. some amazing, some. I wish they were there in version 10. Well, yeah, you could say about a lot of this stuff that, boy, why wasn't this here in the beginning? But it's here now. It's here now. And um, once you dig into it, there's a lot more going on than you realize just by, you know, understanding it at a high level once you really kind of dig in. So what are you going to talk to us about today? What I'm going to talk to you about is layered Photoshop files. Layered Photoshop files. Right. Remember Final Cut Pro 7, or Legacy, I should say, all the, back, all the way back to version 1 supported yeah. layered, layered Photoshop yeah. graphics. And now Final Cut Pro 10.0.3 supports them. So I want to talk about you know, what you do with them, how you work with them in Final Cut, and essentially, what are the mechanics of working with a layered Photoshop file? Okay. Let's check it out. Okay. So first thing is, where is it? Well, first you have to import it. It has to be a PSD file, Photoshop, a layered PSD doc yeah. document. Yeah. Um, it, it should probably be RGB instead of uh, CMYK. Yeah, which, sometimes you get your graphics person to give you some CMYK file, and that's probably not going to work. Right. And, and the other thing, too, since we're discussing Photoshop prep, yeah. is that just like legacy versions of Final Cut Pro, uh, effects applied to layers have to be rasterized, rasterized. into them, right. right? So if you do a, if you had a drop shadow yeah. or a layer outline, effects, a layer, thank you, layered yeah. effects, layer styles, that kind of stuff, they're not going to come across. Yeah, you got to, you got to raster. So the same, same as it has been, basically, it needs to be rasterized layers. Blend mode should work. Well, um, I haven't tried it, but okay, but um, but the basic stuff should work yeah, exactly. Fine, yeah. So let's let's look at calling out, and I'm I'm going to re, I'm going to refer to a feature I showed in a previous episode. This new search feature. So if I'm going to click search, I'm going to click uh, clip type because I got a lot of media there. And I showed them in the last episode that you can search by clip. I'm going to say find me look layered graphic. Layered graphic. We wanted to know what it's called. There, there it is. is. There it is. I just I just <laughs> trying to figure out what do you call that thing? It's right here. Layered, it's a layered graphic. graphic. That's how, the, that's the type of clip. A that's layered right. graphic. And how okay. do we know it's a layered graphic? How do we know this? And you've got this little stacked. Well, for, for being a motion guy, that tells me it's 3D. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's a 3D, a 3D icon. Like a they 3D just group. like they just Wait repurposed it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. 3D. So bottom line, it tells you it's your. And you also see that there's a badge at the top, the top left corner that, yeah. uh, that shows you that it's a layered graphic it's too. It's 3D Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> not really. Don't get confused <laughs> by that. So I'm gonna open the clip up, and what I want to do is open it into the timeline. Essentially, what a Layered graphic is it's yeah. really just a compound clip. Oh, it's, it's very much like a compound. It clip. It is a compound okay. clip. Okay. In fact, you you could tell that by look at that. It's a compound clip icon. Okay. Remember, yeah. a, a compound clip is essentially a self-contained timeline. Yeah, kind of like a nested. You know, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, if if you if I added a title to this, yeah. In other words, if I go up here and I I'm, I'm going to open and go off the rails here, but I'm just going <laughs> to I'm going to go and collect title. a title. I want you to see what another happens. new 10.0.3 three feature, by the way. Right. Exactly. Yeah. The thing is, is that when you add a title to yeah. it, it actually turns it into a a proper compound clip instead it, of a layer graphic right, so, anymore. <laughs> so exactly what happens is it should lose its it should lose its. Uh, Three, it's, it's a little badge. It, it's, yeah, it's, in fact, the badge... It disappeared it, it, it from disa that. It disappeared because it's it's, it's not no a, longer a layered graphic But file. thankfully, I can go um, compound, and it should be in here. We can... Oh, look, see? It's got a compound clip. Oh, now it's, named, now. now it's a compound that clip. That can okay. mess you up if you yeah. if you add something to it, which yeah. you can do, but yeah. that's just a little... And it if, if you had made a smart collection to show your layered graphics files, all of a sudden, the file just, type has changed. It changed. That's a good, good That's a good really good one, huh? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it back up. I'm, the reason I showed you that is because, look, you can add content to... Okay. Because the, the essential structure is the same. It's a container. It's a compound clip. So you could just use it right within there. Exactly. And, and all the layers are... I see them all represented by these connect clips? Es essentially what you have, uh -huh. it, 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 a layered graphic still maintains the same conventions as any compound clip. You have a primary storyline, okay. and this is the ba that was the background layer. So that would be the background layer. layer. Yeah. That's your primary storyline, and each layer above it is connected to that. So we've got three connected layers to the primary storyline. Hey, I got, a, I got a quick question. Like, uh -huh. we're in the viewer, we're seeing all the layers. Correct. If you turn on clip skimming, could you just see the individual layers Let's by see. moving over them? Let's see. Um, where is that clip? It's a new clip skimmer, isn't it? So, yeah. clip skimmer. Clip, clip skimming. So, should I turn off skimming or just No, just leave that on. Okay. Just look clips, turns clip so skimming now on. If and I, just if move I, over individual layers. There's just the background okay. flag. 
There's just just the weekend. weekend. It just only shows that layer by itself. This is cool. Just shows warriors. So another 10.03 feature, but it really helps you identify what each of those layers are without needing. Of course, you could innate, you could solo them or or, just or press, enable, v, press v, v for each individual one. But that's fast with the clip skimming, just to be able to see those. <laughs> you, you wanted to show that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it just came to me. I swear, I, did, I wasn't planning <laughs> well, on that. Like, that's like, a good feature. That's great. So also, since we're here, notice the checkerboard background, which tells you something that Final Cut Pro 10 is honoring the transparency, transparency. data in the yes. Photoshop document, yes. which is which is huge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step out of this and I'm gonna go back, there's my main timeline. What I wanna do is I wanna add that clip, that which is a, um, a stack graphic or a layered graphic. I'm gonna just add it to, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a, a replace edit. I'm just gonna drop, you can, you can replace one clip okay. with another. With, with a, even though they're different clip types. Different cl tip clips. All right, so there's my, there's my, um, my Weekend Warriors clip. Okay. okay, now I can step into this. And there's all my layers, okay? And I can select them, like like you said, I could select them and I press V, I can disable them, you know, like this, and I want to disable them. You could trim them, you, you could, could change them. their you order, change stacking the, order, right? Exactly, I could say, uh, I really, if I, if I, let's turn off, uh, right the now, clip scanning is in the way, getting in the yeah. way right now, but right now you could. If you wanted, um, here, let's say the weekend layer, that weekend to be over that graphic, you could just grab this and just kind of drag it up. Okay. And essentially change the priority. Could you transform individual layers? Like if you wanted to move that layer around? No, no, you can't. Oh, you can't? No, you can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That would be dumb if you could, right? That would right? be dumb, yeah. So what you do is you just Go you click. the transform click, effect? Click, okay. Like, as soon as you do that, you get the yeah. little bounding boxes. Okay. Notice that layer is selected yeah. in the compound clip. So I can grab this. I can move it around. Beautiful. I can, I can, I can, here, let's, let me grab the soldier scale layer. It, because I can say, so you can just grab it. You can scale it, move it around. You can rotate it. I mean, that's yeah. pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. Now, what I find particularly cool is you can set keyframes. I want to talk about Final Cut Pro's new keyframe paradigm for a second. Well, it's not—it's okay. not a new keyframe. It's the—it's the old way of doing it, but it's now the new way. It's the now new. The, the old new, is new. The, the new. old is new. Is, <laughs> the new is old. And, ex exactly. And we're all just getting older. <laughs> exactly. I was thinking that. So what I want to do is I'd like to have all three layers fade up at the same time. Okay. So what I'm going to do is select the weekend layer. And then command click the soldier layer and select the, the so I've selected those three layers. I didn't select yep. the background. Yep. Right. And I'm going to go to the info. Uh, I'm going to go to the inspector, uh -huh. as Estelle says, inspector. And I am going to set a keyframe for, for opacity. opacity. Okay. Right. And I'm just going to bring the notice. It's bringing the opacity down for all, all the, three all the selected layers at once. Yeah. Right. That's nice. So just like motion. Yep. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and move the play ed a little bit later. Yep. And here's the new thing. Before, I had to set, set a keyframe, key but you don't. All you have to do is I move the play head. Final Cut assumes when you change the property or the parameter yeah. value, it assumes so because, you want to keep key Because keyframe. you set a keyframe once, it will automatically set keyframes for you whenever you change the value at another point in time. Right. Sweet. So, so now when I play this back, you can see that uh, all three layers will, well, fade, will up. fade up. Over time. Very, very, very now, slowly. Well, yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah. Yes. So one last thing, I'm going to step back out. I'm going to go back to the main project. I'm going to show you one other thing. Um, I'm going to grab this whole thing, this clip, and I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to move it over, uh, over one of these other clips here. Okay. Just so, just so you can see what's going to happen. And uh, uh, let's see, option right bracket. I'm going to trim that up. And of course, I've got the graph. I point out, I got the graphic. Yep. Now I'm going to step back into this for a reason. I'm going to select the flag flag layer and just press V for disable. Okay. And then I'm going to step back and to show you that that transparency information is tracking. So I've turned off the background yep. layer, and, and you now can you see just have the title that now I have the title. Up. So I can then, Sweet. so nice. I can select nice. it. I can now, I can, I can select it. I can move it. Let's see what happened to it. I think you're just, it's not faded up quite yet. Oh, is that what's not faded up? Oh, there it is. Okay. And there I can, is. there it is. So now I can grab it, I can rotate. I'm taking everything, 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 everything now. Together. I can move it around the you're screen. You're even moving the background, I'm but even we're not moving, looking at it. Right, so I'm not looking at that, right, right. But right. the point is, is that it. I wanted to show that the transparency data is there. That's cool. Okay. That's awesome. So now that begs the question. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm sure someone out there is going to try this and then let me know. In previous versions of Final Cut, you could right click on the ch uh, clip and choose open an editor, make the change yes. in Photoshop, yes. and then have update. fun. That functionality isn't there in, in here, uh -huh. but I just showed you in a previous lesson how you should be able to use the relink Re command, yeah. create another version of it, relink yeah. to the new version, and yeah. that should work. I haven't tried it yet, okay. but there's no it's reason to yeah. think that it shouldn't, right? Yep. So please email me if yeah. you get to work. Um, but that's essentially 
working with layered Photoshop files. Beautiful. And my guess is also that the composite modes, because they're just normal connected clips, you can apply any composite mode you want. Just step in and, yeah, yeah. and well, you change saw that. anything you want. Yeah, right yeah, there. Right, right. List, list of composite modes. Yeah, there yeah, you go. There, right right there, there. But if you go in, if you go directly into it for each individual layer, you should be able to assign its own composite mode. And it should read the composite mode from Photoshop, just like it's done in, in normal yeah. time. Or blend yeah. modes. Or blend modes, modes, composite yeah. modes. They call them blend modes in, in Final Cut 10 and, and Motion 5. Awesome tip. Thank yeah, I you. want to point out that uh, the update to, to our Apple Pro Video series should be online, and we've included a whole section on working with okay. Photoshop layers. Depending on when you're watching this, if you've already purchased your training, the Apple Pro Video series, Apple Pro Video series, Final Cut Pro 10, Steve's updated it for these new features, um, and that's free. Free update, um, and you should be able to get that. How? Uh, you can email me, or uh, it's on our Twitter feed. Yeah, so if at, at Ripple Training. So at Ripple Training, if you do at Ripple Training, you'll be notified about all this stuff when there's free updates and, and other good things. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Steve. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.